Smile 2 is finally here, and I would say it's a pretty good example of that rare moment where the sequel is actually better than the first one. Everything the first movie did, this one just does better. It's bigger, it's got better performances, it's got a better protagonist, it's got better scares. This movie is surprisingly like one of the best horror films I've seen this year, and I did not I did not see that coming. This is absolutely a must watch for any horror fan, and obviously any fan of the original. So Smile 2 is about Sky Riley, a, a pop star who was trying to bounce back from having a rough patch with drugs and a car accident that changed her life forever and unfortunately someone close to her in her life has been infected with the smile and you know of course sky happens to be in a room where the 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 infection takes place and now she's become infected so now she's trying to juggle her pop star lifestyle with the evil forces that are surrounding her man we've got to talk about the jump scares in this movie this has some pretty effective insane jump scares and i'm kind of like I'm kind of worried for my health because, you know, when I was younger and you watch horror films and there's a jump scare, it's like, ooh, ooh, man, you got me. Ooh, good one, good one. But now as I'm closing in on age 40, it's like when I see a jump scare, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. And throughout this whole movie, I was jumping all over the place and I, well, I was convinced this movie was actively trying to kill me. It's like horror directors these days are getting more clever with their jump scares. It's like they're injecting jump scares into dramatic dialogue scenes they're they're injecting you know jump scares out of the blue and it's like oh my god <laughs> like it, it literally had my heart beating really fast i'm like i'm getting way too old for this jump scare stuff and aside from the jump scares this movie is just inherently creepy like just the just the idea of someone smiling at you from from a distance it's just like it's a creepy visual and i know the first one did the same thing and this one and continues that trend and yeah, it's just it's just a creepy concept and they really nail it in this movie. And you know, overall this movie is pretty scary and creepy. However, not every moment sticks the landing. I think there's a, a big set piece that happens. It's in the trailer. It's when all the dancers are kind of like creeping through the hallway. There that whole sequence did not really do it for me. It felt like all of the dancers who were smiling were like on the verge of laughing. I don't know. It, it's not as scary as it makes it to be in the trailer. But yeah, that whole sequence just didn't quite do it for me. But most of the other scares and the other horror aspects of the film really freaking worked. There are moments where I did not want to watch the screen because uh, I'm a big baby. But yeah, I think that overall this movie is just effective uh, across every board. And it's also trying to do so many different things. And yet it grabs all the things it's trying to do and makes one hell of a cohesive story. And the reason why I think Smile 2 is better than the first one is just I think that the character and the story just blows Smile out of the water. Naomi Scott here gives an incredible, intense performance. It is one of the best performances I've seen in a horror movie this year. She is fantastic. She is amazing. And just taking the concept of Smile and injecting it into the entertainment world is just such a clever idea, and it just makes for an entertaining ride. And this movie has something to say. It's saying something about stardom. It's saying something about being an icon. I think this movie really digs deep into what that does to a person and, and the psychological hoops they have to jump through to like just be that kind of person. And I think this movie does that really well. Now, I do want to talk about the ending here because I've seen a lot of chatter online about people trying to decipher what the ending is. I'm not going to spoil exactly what happens. I'm going to try and skirt around what actually happens in the ending, but I just want to talk about it briefly because I want to give you my take on the ending of the movie. But I've seen people say that a large chunk of this movie was, you know, in the person's head or maybe it didn't happen, but that's not the way I read it. I think that everything you see in the movie actually happens. And then when we get to, let's say, the pizza joint, something happens at that pizza joint and it does not go well for Sky. And then the movie continues on, but we don't see what happens. And then we get to the ending and then she kind of snaps back into it. So I do think that everything we see in the movie uh, actually happens. Uh, I'm sure you can read it differently. I'm sure you can read it to where, you know, most of this movie doesn't happen. But I, for one, accepted the fact that this, everything you see that happened in the movie actually happens. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. But please, if you're going to comment in the in the section, please put a spoiler warning so that we don't we don't want to ruin it for anybody. But yeah, that was just my take. I think that everything that happens in the movie actually happens. And I actually hope that we don't get a third movie because the way this movie ends is such, it's so bold and it's so big that I'm just like, I don't even know how you're even going to address how this movie ends in the next movie. I almost, I like the idea of just ending it there where you're just like, oh my gosh, that is a crazy ending. Um, so yeah, I hope that they don't do a third one. I mean, if they do a third one, I'm going to show up. Obviously, I want to know what they're going to do with it. 
But at the same time, I think I'll be pretty satisfied with the, the way this movie ends in that bold, bold way. But yeah, we will see. If this movie makes a crap ton of money, I'm sure we will see a Smile 3. But yeah, in the end, guys, great performance from Naomi Scott. Uh, really good, effective jump scares. Very creepy tone. Very creepy moments. Uh, I do think this is a better movie than the first one. Not that the first one is bad. I enjoyed the first one, but I just think that everything that that movie did, this one just does better. So yeah, this is a huge recommendation for me. Please check this one out. But have you seen Smile 2? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Please let me know in the comments below. Until the next time, I will see you on the next one.